We're here in the kitchen. The water's boiling. So I don't measure the rice. I just put in twice the amount of water and just pour. When it looks like it's about half, turn it down. Easily done. Oh, I've got this thing. This is a sweet potato. It's uh, what I didn't eat yesterday, so I'm going to steam it up today. So I just cut off the bad bits on the end, if there are any bad bits. Put that in the compost heap. And then I just, I don't cut it to any sort of standard. I just cut it the way it cuts. And if that's like this, I'll pick that up. Or like this. For me, I don't really care about the aesthetics. I just want to eat. Because it tastes good no matter how it's cut. So, I recommend using a cutting board and a different knife than this so you don't cut your finger. But, this will do. So, this is how Chef Simply Vegan cuts the yam. Three potato. So now that this is cooking, let's move on to the main dish. You might ask, what is this dish even going to consist of? What, what is this recipe? I don't know. I just got stuff from the garden, got stuff from the share, uh, and uh, pulling some together. So let's check out the ingredients. So we got lettuce that I just picked from my garden, bok choy from the farm share. Uh, farm share is the give you produce every week. Um, this is spinach from them as well. Really good spinach. Um, kale from my garden that I just picked. And parsley, oregano, and a little bit of basil for some seasoning. And over here, we got some tomatoes. No salt added. Organic tomatoes. Pretty good. Sodium's pretty legit. No salt added. Don't need to drain these. Some beans. There's no fructose corn syrup in here. This is good. This is a lot of salt, so make sure you drain them really thoroughly before you use them. And from yesterday, some leftover potatoes. There's some Swiss chard here from the garden that I just picked. So how do you cook with no oil? How do you start out? First you put it on about medium heat. Add the first bit of water. Just wait for that to heat up. You can turn up the heat a little bit. Wait for that to heat up and then you can add your first ingredients. Of the beans. You want to rinse them, but you want to have them so the liquid coming out isn't black anymore. So when you rinse it, you want to have a clear liquid, get all the salt off, so you can throw it in. You want to cook these not too much, just so your thing goes right through them. Your thing, the three prong, four prong thing. And then just shut it off, put the cover back on, put the cover off, doesn't matter. Easy. You get it in these suckers. Rule of thumb with the water is that you just want to have a thin layer. You just want to have a thin layer of the water so stuff can cook, stuff, so stuff can steam. This is my meal for the day. So what you want to do is you want to just cut it up. Like I said, I'm kind of lazy or I don't just don't care about the aesthetics of it. So I just cut it up. It's just going to get steamed anyway. So. Cut it up. Move it on over. Same thing with the back. So once you get the beans cooked, you can start adding the other stuff. Add in some spices as it's cooking. 
you don't have to go crazy. I mean, this is a fancy dish for me. I mean, this is something that'll last all week because it'll just, this is essentially my condiment for the week for my carbohydrate calories. That's all this is. So you don't have to use a lot of this. So that's why you can make it last. So this is easy. This lifestyle is so easy. All you got to do, you don't even have to do this. You know, this is if you want a home cooked meal, if you want to impress your lady friend or your man friend or your just friend. It's easy. So you want to mix around your rice a little bit. Make sure it's fluffy, make sure it's got enough water in. Keep it cooking. But we're going to try something. We're going to take the water that was steamed in here. This is an exclusive, never tried before. So bear with me, this might fail. So this is the sweet potato water, full of vitamins. So put it in here. Why not? Why not? I took the Swiss chard stems and just tore off the leaves. So you guys the stem. So what I'm going to do now is just cut this up like I did the kale. So in a small chunk. You know. And then might as well throw the kale, which will take a little bit longer to cook than the spinach and the lettuce leaves and the bok choy. We're not even cutting these. Just tearing them up. You don't have to be a whiz kid to cook. You can just learn as you go. That's what life is. Life's about learning. Who needs to cut? Who needs to waste time cutting? We can just rip. Yeah. So put a little water in here, swish it around a little bit, and just pour it in. Easy. Nothing goes to waste here. You can also. Take the water again, and the sweet potatoes, put it in there as well. Easy. So at this stage of the game, what you want to do is you want to toss in that spinach, or whatever you have. Let it steam a bit. This will shrink down. I'm going to mix it around a little bit. And at any point you think it's too hot, you can always turn it down a little bit. And then you want to add in the Swiss chard and the lettuce leaves. Steam those. Just throw them on top. And you might as well throw the leftover potatoes and the sweet potatoes in. There it is. And all you gotta do is just serve it on a little bit of rice. Easily done. Like I said, it's just their condiment. It's just a condiment to get the rice down. Because the rice is the main meal. This is just to give it some flavor. So there you go. Easy meal. And this, I mean, one person, this will last easily a week, you know, if you just eat like this. So that's easy. So that's the recipe. That's the improvisation recipe. You can use whatever vegetables you have. You don't have to use the potatoes. You don't even have to use beans. And you can see in this, you only have like, what, three or four beans in here? Ten beans max. So you don't have to worry about getting in the extra protein or fat because really insignificant. And that's good. This is hearty. This is healthy. This will get you slim. This will get you slim. So anyone can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Super easy. It's super easy. So, like I said, everyone, anyone can do this. If I've learned to do this, just my, my own skill, asking people, oh, well, when is that done? When is this? You know, it's not even cooking. It's just doing. I mean, you, but that's everything, in, any, anything in life. Just do it. And you can learn. Like right now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing on the bike, 
But when I come across something I don't know, I Google it or I ask my neighbor, ask somebody. So it's easy. So if you like this video, if you like these, this recipe, try it out. Try it out. You know, you can use uh, tomatoes, potatoes, whatever you got lying around, whatever's in season, use it. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button. Leave a comment below so I know that you might like it. And subscribe so you can see more of these videos. So you can see more, all these videos come in one place. So, as always, may your bananas always be right. And thanks for watching. Live simply so others may simply live.